Our morning service comes from St Cuthbert's Church, Bedlington, Northumberland. The service will be conducted by the vicar, the Reverend H.J. Osgerthorpe, who will be joined in the reading of the passages of scripture by members of the congregation. The address will be given by Canon Gord Nyerson of Newcastle Cathedral, who also introduces the service. During these last few weeks of Lent and Good Friday and Easter, we've been reminded of the great truths of the life and death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. But what are we doing, or what do we intend doing about him? Are we going to do anything more than we've done in the past, or do we propose to go on as if Good Friday and Easter Day had never happened, as if the man born to be king had never been born at all? That's the question about which we're going to think in our service this morning. And we who are here in Bedlington Church put the question to ourselves as much as to you who are listening in your homes. Let's then begin with the great fact of Easter by singing the hymn, Alleluia, Alleluia, Hearts to Heaven and Voices Raise, in ancient and modern, 137.
this commandment which I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shouldest say, Who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us, that we may hear it and do it? But the word is very nigh unto thee, in thy mouth and in thy heart, that thou mayst do it. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil, in that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways and to keep his judgment, that thou mayst live and multiply. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. And Joshua said unto all the people, now therefore fear the Lord, and serve him in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose this day whom he will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be gone, follow him. But if bear, then follow him. And Jesus said, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Now therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these things, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribe. Wherefore, let us make an act of faith in the power and constancy of our Lord's word, by singing the hymn, Lord, thy word abideth in ancient and modern 243.
just as I am without one plea, omitting the third verse, ancient and modern, number 255. Power of Jesus' name, we shall omit the third verse, in ancient and modern, number 300.
personal God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.